I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem and Shai, and double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone who told me the truth and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And this lesson is basically on um, this guy wearing a dress. I'm just gonna get into the scriptures. Um, <clears throat> I'll start with um, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It's the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for that do so, an abomination unto the Lord thy God. And as you can see, here it is. <clears throat> His son, David, I think his name is Dwayne, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, his son here wearing a dress, putting on a woman's garment, which, are, which is an abomination unto the Lord. And then if we go to um, <clears throat> 23 and 17, it says, um, this is Deuteronomy 23 and 17, it says, There shall no, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And today, over there in um, America, they're teaching the, the sons of Israel to be effeminate, to be um, FAGs or moles. And that's not set to one, man. And the Lord's going to bring judgment for that. And we can go to... Um, <clears throat> Leviticus twenty and thirteen. This is Leviticus twenty and thirteen. It says, "If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, and they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them." So there you go, woman. If the finger um. <clears throat> Dove into those lusts. The Lord's gonna reward them with thingy um with death man. And like he says the the thingy um the blood shall be upon them man. They will reward it even unto themselves. Um <clears throat> and we can go to um first Corinthians six and nine six nine Actually, I think there's another sketch I want to get. Um, actually, let me just read this. This is First Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that unrighteous, unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abuse of themselves in mankind. And the point in this, in verse 9, is... No effeminate shall, inf shall inherit the kingdom of God. So basically, um, <clears throat> this guy here, this this is an acceptable man. This is an acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh, but somehow share. And he's not going to inherit the kingdom of God. He's going to have to pay for his iniquity. He needs to repent. And um, we can go to. Um, Romans six fourteen. This is Romans six and fourteen. It says, "For sin shall not have a dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid." So just because we're under grace, that doesn't mean we can willfully sin, because the law didn't give anyone. A license to sin. And I've got that right here. It's Ecclesiasticus 15 and 20. It says, He have not commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man a license to sin. And we can go to um Judges 5 and 11. And it says, <clears throat> they that are delivered from the noise of the arches in the place, places of drawing water. And here's the point. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. 
And the point is um, rehearsing our righteous acts, which means to practice, practice the law, keep it to the best of your ability. Because one of the reasons why Yahweh died on a cross was that so that we could repent and have forgiveness for sins, man. <clears throat> if we go to what's called um, Acts 5 and 21. It says, um, him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a saviour for us to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness for sins. So there you go, man. Like, when, you, when you're when going off, you're supposed to think, um, repent and then turn away from your wickedness. If not, then the Lord's going to bring judgment upon you, man. <clears throat> then we can go get the last scripture. Actually, um, gave them up. I think it's this one, um. Yeah, this is Romans 1 and 23. It says, um, and change, actually, let me start from, I might as well just start from 24. Yeah, Romans 1 and 24, it says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the, through the loss of their own hearts to, some, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So there you go, man. Oh, and let me continue reading, man. And it says, Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever? Oh, man. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even the women did change to natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving their natural use of the woman, burned in their lust. One toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that reco recompense of the error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, malignity and whispers. So yeah, man, the Lord gave them up to their own vile affections, man. And that's all because um, at the end of the day, the Lord just kind of destroyed them, man. And it tells you, man, um, that those who don't seek the Lord shall be put to death, great or small. Let me try it this way. So there. Yeah, here it is. This is Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles fifteen and thirteen. It says that whoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So there you go, man. You gotta seek the Lord while He may be found, because if not, He's going to give you over, man, to that sword, and you're gonna perish, man. And yeah, I hope this lesson's been edifying, and yes, shalom.